Tyrone, you must be excited to be back in the ring in April, having not fought since last summer. Yeah, I mean, it feels like I've had a mini retirement, but I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back out there. My knuckles are itchy. I've got my feet ready to dance, I'm ready to get busy. I'm looking forward to it being with uh, Frank and on the BT Sport, it's a whole new broadcaster. I think it's going to be good, for exciting times. And it's a defence of your British title against Joe Hughes. Yeah, tough game kid Joe. I mean, I boxed him in amateurs, so I know him well. Uh, obviously, we all saw his fight with Catterall, you know, he gave Catterall a good, tough fight. He's strong game with left hooker, you know, it's going to be a good fight. I'm looking forward to it. Do you have a sort of a lot of respect more for people like Joe who have got that handicap of um, you're pretty much a one handed boxer? Yeah, the herbs palsy. I mean, you've got to have, uh, you know, anyone who boxes knows how tough it is in there. So, you know, with two, hand, two good hands, two good legs, it's, uh, it's tough in there. So, to have one. That said, um, that's not a, half as good as your other. It's it's a hell of a handicap, you know. And for him to got to where he's got and the victories and the kids he's beat and how well he performed against Jack, you know, you've got to give him full credit and full respect. How tough would it be to stop him? Oh, I think he's. I mean, if I remember rightly, when I watched the Carroll fight, I don't think Jack bothered him with an headshot. I think um, if anything, he might have tickled him a few times with ribs. So, you know, it's. Uh, it might be a, a case of breaking him down bit by bit, but you know, if we get the stoppage, we get the stoppage, but it's just about the win. There's a lot of people um, just talking a fight between yourself and Jack, and quite naturally, um, you know, you, you both are forming your careers, and it's a, it's a natural fight for, for the division domestically. Do you, do you sort of think, can I do a better, I've got to do a better job than Jack to, to show him I'm boss? <clears throat> no, not necessarily, because it's a styles makes fights thing. You know, um, I might be a kid more convincingly than Jack and Jack then might be a kid who I don't be as convincingly that, 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 more convincingly than I do you know it's different styles make different fights don't at the end of the day and um, but obviously you've got that in your head you want to go out and make a statement better than the other kids who beat him and that but you know it's we're going to go in and do what we do you know obviously we've had nine months off so it's uh, it's good it's a good fight to get back into the, the swing of things I think did they give you a Lonsdale belt outright if you win this? I'm, because it's only if you had a mandatory. And this is your third defence. Yeah, no, we're not getting another. We're not getting a Lonsdale belt, unfortunately. You know, it's a belt I'd love to win outright, but I'm, I'm getting sick of sitting around waiting. To be honest, you know, I'm getting older. You know, and everyone else is moving on and talking about other things. You know, and that's where I want to be pushing on to. So you know, that's what I want to do. You know, if need, I can come back to British if need be. You know, and get that last victory. I'm still I'm 27, just kind of still young, really. And the plan is that to get you out in Leeds, near your hometown. Yeah, it'd be good to get back out in Leeds. Obviously, you've got Josh Warrington against Martin. There's a Nicola Adams, so it's, um, it's it, I might not love it over at Leeds. Even football lot go over and they, they keep the golf shut, but they enjoy it when they're there. You know, it's always a good atmosphere. It's always good shows. Um, it'd be good to get out again straight after I've said no injuries from the first fight. And I think we're going to test the waters at welterweight as well. So do you think you could move up to world weight or do you still see your future at super lightweight? Oh, I mean, I can still do super lightweight, but once we've put his foot in the water at well, you know, some other, some fight opportunities might come from that side of the... Are you going to be a bit like Liam Walsh, who was saying he'll fight it's super, super federal lightweight, lightweight yeah, wherever I mean, opportunities come as long as, as, f- as long as I feel comfortable at well away, you know, I'm not I'm not fully fledged well away yet. You know, eventually I'll grow into that and when 10 stones are not happening anymore. You know, but um, the right fights come with the right timing and everything, you know, you've got to look at your options, haven't you? Like I say, we want, we want to move on and if the opportunities come up well to it, then can't say no. And away from boxing, I understand you're just pretty soon going to be a dad for the second time. Yeah, four months off now, I'm not sure what we're having, but yeah, mid-July, looking forward to that one again. <laughs> Boy or girl? We've not found out, we didn't find out the first time, it was a nice surprise, you know, me telling the missus and that, so we'd come for the same option. Fingers crossed it's a boy because I can retire from it. But you know, well, as long as it's as long as they come in the healthy, that's all that matters.